Wrestling. Michael St. John, my broadcast partner, Hot Rod Biggs. Things are getting interesting in Southern All-Star Wrestling. We have a TV champion, not without controversy. We have a partner missing in action and some superstars coming in here because they know this is the hottest wrestling going. The brand new hot band of professional wrestling right here, Southern All-Star Wrestling. What a broadcast we've got today, Michael. We've got Chase Stevens here today in action. And where well, is his partner? That's the big question. Boy, that's what everybody you, wants to know. Right it's now. all over the internet blogs. Where is Andy Douglas? Will we get an answer today? Perhaps we'll have to ask Chase when he comes out here. He's in tag team action though. We're gonna have to see if Chase has the answer to the million dollar question. But don't forget the man that deemed responsible for this whole episode, Paul Adams returns with the Maddox brothers right here today. He guaranteed a championship. He put the gold belts around his team. They'll be in action in our ring. What else we got? The young sensation, Caleb Conley, right here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling today. And we've got a newcomer, the new nature boy, Kevin White, debuting right here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. You know, when Pod Rod, when you take the name the nature boy, you think of one thing, Ric Flair, if you're gonna use the name nature boy, oh my goodness, you got a situation where we gotta see if he proves to his name. And as we mentioned, uh, Chris Michaels, the television champion, not without controversy, champ. has joined us here in the opening. Chris, not without controversy, you are holding the TV championship of Southern All-Star Wrestling. Well, Michael St. John, you can just call this the Chris Michaels Hour. The Chris Michaels Hour. Why is that? Because I am, without a shadow of a doubt, the new Southern All-Star Television Champion. Just like I told you, just like I told Freddie Morton, just like I told everybody watching, and just like I told all these scallywags out here watching, that Chris Michaels is the rightful television champion and not Eric Andrews. Well, the, with, despite what you say, and you have got the gold belt, and you are a great wrestler, but not without controversy, not without some question, but I know uh, Commissioner Freddie Morton has some questions about this gold belt around your waist. Well, Michael well. St. John, the only controversy is, is that I allowed Eric Andrews to walk out of this building on his own two feet. That's the only controversy. Now, I know Freddie Morton all week long has taken his fat little grubby fingers, dialing up the phone, trying to find somebody to come in here to face me for this title. And I also know for a fact no one has returned his phone call because you tell me who in their right mind, who would have the gall to come in here and challenge the headliner, Chris Michaels. Well, Chris, I know there are a lot of folks that would love a shot at that gold belt, and I'm sure they'll step up. Speaking of the commissioner, he's here now, Commissioner Freddie Morton. Well, that's right. He won the match with a very controversial ending. I say this, but you're wrong. I have been on the phone. I have been calling people, and I got a phone call back when I mentioned the name of Chris Michaels. He's got a score he wants to sell to you, and today, on today's broadcast, we're going to see that match. We're going to see you defend that title against none other than Kid Cash. Whoa, Kid Cash. Kid Cash today is here. Kid Cash is here coming off to the television title. You guys know each other. Yeah, we know each other real well. And everybody that knows me knows that I'm a man of few words. Chris Michaels, I've been around this world and I've won belts everywhere I've been. Now I'm in Southern All-Star Wrestling and I got news for you. You're holding my belt. Kid Cash, main event today here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Chris Michaels, Kid Cash, what a card. Let's take a break. More action coming your way right now here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. 
Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. Don't wrestle with time. Sell it fast. Go, Freddie Morton Auctions. Freddie Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions, 931-840-5809. Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Old Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza featuring an all-you-can-eat buffet Sunday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The best wings around, the hottest sandwiches in town, and pizza that'll make you want to get down to Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza. Our number is 883-1844. It's Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Opening action coming your way. Caleb Conley already in the ring. Newcomer coming into the area. He calls himself the new nature boy. I'm talking about Kevin White. And he will be making his way to the ring momentarily. And as I say that, he has made his way here. The new nature boy, Kevin White, here on All Star Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Mr. White, first of all, welcome in. Yeah, don't stand too close to this robe. I paid a lot of money for this. And let me tell you, Redneck, something out there. I buy my Lincolns like you buy your socks. I've got more houses than you have underwear. So let me tell you what, you stand that ladder up and watch me climb it rung by rung by rung. And before long, I'll be wearing gold around my waist. And I'll start today. The new nature boy, Kevin White, about to show what he can do in the ring. Let's go to the ring for action right now. Ready for action. Bell time here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs, and the new man, Kevin White is uh, making his debut here on Southern All-Star Wrestling against Caleb Conley. And uh, Hot Rod Biggs, it was interesting, Kevin White he, uh, calls himself the new nature boy. And right now, Caleb Conley gives the uh, welcome wagon with a couple of left hands to the top of the head. And Kevin White retreats quickly to the corner. Not sure about the origin of the new nature boy, Kevin White. The man looks like he's made up of his mind. He's committed to a decision to do something. He's calling us up the new nature boy. And as you alluded to earlier, the first thing you think about when you hear that name is Ric Flair. And what is going through this kid's mind that he is going to try and stake a claim as the new nature boy right here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. Well, when you look at it, you had the nature boy Buddy Landau. You had the nature boy Ric Flair. There was a controversy as to who was the true nature boy. And I think uh, we all know now how that turned out. But you got a situation here where you got a youngster coming in wanting to make a name for himself. And he steps into the ring right here on Southern All-Star Wrestling uh, against Caleb Conley, who has made uh, quite a name for himself in the early going. And Caleb Conley off the ropes, and the left-hander comes off. And nice block by Conley and a nice hip toss. Very impressive showing early on from Caleb Conley right now. A combination of moves. He's got the new nature boy, Kevin White, retreating to the turnbuckles. And right now, Kevin White is uh, perhaps a little perplexed, not expecting what he's getting thus far in this match from Caleb Conley. Perhaps he uh, underestimated the level of competition in his action. That's one thing that you cannot do here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. You cannot underestimate your opponents. And if Kevin White has done that, that could be a fatal mistake right off the bat. But apparently he's got another game plan as a sucker punch takes Caleb Conley down. 
may may have not have went into his tights. I'm sure that's going to be open for dispute. But the point is, Caleb Codley is down at the hands of Kevin White. Well, the new nature boy now going to work on Caleb Codley. And I saw him go into his trunks. I don't know if he was adjusting or pulling something out. But whatever happened after that exchange, Caleb Conley, the worst for wear, high body slam, picked him up, dead weight body slam, drops the fist across the chest, too, and a count of two quickly by the referee. And... Uh, Unfortunately for Mr. White, he was not able to keep Conley down, but Conley's not the man that you're going to beat that easily. The man's got to have great intestinal fortitude to even be in that ring, and the kid has established himself as a tough competitor. It is definitely going to take more than that to beat a kid like this, and we're going to see if Kevin White's going to got have what it takes to defeat him. What a surprise on our program you may have heard or may have missed in the opening. The fact of the matter is Kid Cash has stepped up to battle Chris Michaels for the television title. There's a nice neck breaker by Caleb Conley. He may beat this guy right here, a count of two, but White was able to escape. Kid Cash answering the bell, so to speak, and uh, Commissioner Freddie Morton, I must say, he's making some phone calls to get some top talent in here to challenge for these championship belts and Chris Michaels, already that TV belt, in my opinion, is in trouble. The television title could very well be in jeopardy. Kid Cash known all around the world. One of the top competitors in the sport today is going to stake his claim for the television title right here in Southern All-Star Wrestling. That just goes to show you, Michael, Freddie Morton has been saying he's been receiving calls. He's been receiving emails. Everybody wants a part of this, and Kid Cash is going to stake his claim. He wants to come right in and go to the top of the mountain. Well, that's going to be a very interesting main event today here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. And in the meantime, there is Kevin White poking at the eyes of Caleb Conley in the ring. As White, as this match has gone on, uh, Hot Rod Biggs has continued his uh, his maniacal onslaught, and he's gotten a little bit worse as far as breaking the rules as the match has gone on. And now the fact of the matter is he's very confident that he's got this one under control. Maybe not. Caleb Conley out of the way as Kevin White missed the big fist drop. Caleb Conley with a big shoulder tackle, followed up by another one. Drop kick by Conley. He got upstairs into that wheelhouse of White, and White is reeling in this match. Here's White with a reversal on Conley after the ropes. Dropped him over the top strand of ropes. Now hooks him, rolls him up, pulls the trunks, gets that the was win. It. Game over. And there you have it, the new Kevin nature White. boy. Kevin White making his debut here on Southern All-Star Wrestling with that little strut. And Kevin White gets the victory in his first appearance on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling and a big win over Caleb Conley. We've got a lot more action coming your way. Stay where you are. Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. We'll be right back. If you love the look of historic homes but prefer the energy efficiency and trouble-free living of new home construction, you'll be right at home in a victory-built home. Constructed with insulated panels, this helps keep the energy bills low. Also, will help withstand high winds and is virtually soundproof from the outside noises. Please view our online videos of our model home and green-friendly building process at www.victorybuilthomes.com. If your car is not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. 
Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. Pro Graphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let Pro Graphics be your source for all of your printing needs. Pro Graphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new Color Span 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call Pro Graphics at 615-327-0386. Sunny days are here again. Sunshine Heating and Cooling servicing Nashville and all of Middle Tennessee. Call owners Joe Anisi and Jerry Williams for all of your heating and cooling needs. They will perform fast professional service. Whether you need annual service, repair, or have a new unit installed, call the pros at Sunshine Heating and Cooling. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Southern All-Star Wrestling, and I hope you got your seatbelts on because we have got a big card of action coming your way. Main event TV title as Chris Michaels will defend against Kid Cash. Big television uh, championship match there coming up. Tag team championship on the line with the Maddox brothers defending and a whole lot more. But right now, we're awaiting Chase Stevens to make his appearance here. Big question throughout the wrestling world is where is Chase Stevens' partner, Andy Douglas? Andy? I got to ask you, Chase, where is Andy Douglas these days? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know. It's been three weeks. Nobody's heard from him. I, I've called his parents. I've tried to get a hold of him. Nobody's seen him. It really doesn't have anything to do with wrestling right now. I'm kind of worried about his well-being. I don't know where he's at. Nobody's heard from him. So he could be anywhere right now. Well, that is a burning question that we have all over the world of professional wrestling. Now, I know you've got singles competition today, but I'm sure your mind would be a lot more at ease stepping into the squared circle if you knew the whereabouts of Andy. Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, if anybody knows where he's at, anybody, just give me a call. Call me up. Email me. Do something. I mean, we need to know what happened to Andy. All right, Chase. Well, good luck to you in this match right now. Chase Stevens going to the ring, and he will be in action right now. Wait, 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 wait. Paul Adams. Hold on a second. Hold on. Paul Adams, manager of the tag team champions, the Maddox brothers. Chase, I don't want any altercation here. Paul, what is it? Well, you know, first of all, Michael, I've been gone for two weeks. You know, when I come back, make my big return here to Southern All-Star Wrestling tonight. Unfortunately, Lindsay's off in rehab. Paris is back and forth to jail. Christina and Audrey in Missouri, none of my top people are here tonight. I got to come out here and listen to Chase Stevens crying and whining because he doesn't know where his old BFF Andy Douglas is you know once at? again this week. You know where he's at? It don't matter where I know where he's at or not. What I know, Chase Stevens is on back here, and the Maddox boys are the Southern All-Star Wrestling Tag Team Champions. And what I also know, Chase Stevens, is that you got a match in the ring right now, and Michael St. John, well, you know what, where Andy Douglas probably is, he's probably off on vacation because he's sick and tired of carrying you for the last five years, Chase Stevens. you got a singles match this week. Out. Let me find out you have something to do with this. Let me find out. All right, don't, don't and speaking it. And speaking of carrying things, Michael St. John, I'm headed over to the broadcast table with you right now and carry you for this match with uh, Chase Stevens. I'm ready to do a little pontificating. Now that I'm back in All-Star Wrestling, it's going to be all about Paul. Well, All About Paul is about to begin. Let's go to the ring for the action. We're ready for action, and the bell has been signaled for here. And we are underway, and I got to say, uh, you get these interviews, and you got something going fine. And Paul, first of all, good to have you back. It is good to have me back. It is my, I told you I wanted to have a welcome back party all set up for me when I returned here to Southern All-Star Wrestling this week. All my best people are off doing their own thing so they couldn't be here, but where's my, no welcome back sign or nothing from you, Michael. I, no pyro, no nothing. Just bring me out here and I gotta listen to Chase Stevens and now watch him in the ring crying and whining because because Andy Douglas ain't, ain't here again this week. Now he don't even have no idea where he's Paul, at. Paul, isn't it? Not, just not to, for me to interrupt being the host of the program, but 
Isn't it a big enough affair and a big enough event that the fact that you return and your team are the tag team champions, I would think that's a big enough return. Well, I guaranteed you last week they were going to win that match against the guy you see in the ring right here, right now, Chase Stevens, and that mongrel partner here, Shane Eden. As you see, Chase going with the top wrist lock, wrist lock here. But I'll tell you what, Michael. What I am happy to see is the influx of talent here to Southern All-Star Wrestling since I've been suspended the last two weeks. None other than making his debut this week is Kid Cash. He's going to be taking on Chris Michaels in our TV main event this week. Well, Paul Adams, you as the manager of the Maddox Brothers, I know is going to face some tremendous competition. As a matter of fact, lining up at the door to take those belts away from the Maddox Brothers. As a matter of fact, they're taking on a well-established team in this area, Risky Business, later on this hour. And that will be for the Tag Team Championship. But right now in the ring, Chase Stevens is taking on TJ Harley and has it going his way. But the question burning in the minds of everybody is where is Andy Douglas? Chase Stevens' partner has been missing in action now for the better part of three weeks. Nobody seems to know, not even his parents seem to know, the whereabouts of Andy Douglas. You gave an illusion in the uh, before this match got under the way that you perhaps know where Andy Douglas is. Well, you know what, Michael? You know who does know where Andy Douglas is? No. Paul Adams does know where Andy Douglas is, as a matter of fact. And well, I'm then why don't you enlighten us and let us know, because the world, it's all over the blogs. It's all over the Internet blog, tip sheets. Where, where is Andy Douglas? What is going on? Well, suffice to say, while I had that two-week rest period, two weeks off, you know, normally Paul Adams doesn't punch up, but thanks to Freddie Morton and his, that redneck on a power trip, like I called him last week, Thanks to Freddie Morton, I've been on a two-week vacation. And during that time period, I had a lot of thinking that I got done, Michael St. John, and I did a lot of scouting of talent, and I'm going to be bringing some new talent here, and I'm going to be managing some new guys in addition to the tag team champions here in Southern All-Star Wrestling coming up in the next couple of weeks. Well, the tag team champions will be in action, but I know Chase Stevens has got his eye because he and I'm sure Andy Douglas, wherever he is, know that they are the rightful owners and the rightful challengers for the Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Well, you know, I hope there was this much concern over my well-being when I was gone. You know, I got suspended for two weeks because this Chase Stevens, who you see in the ring, delivered a big backdrop right there because two weeks ago on TV, Chase Stevens' neck attacked my tail and I get suspended. What kind of justice is that? I think Freddie Morton, the commissioner of SAW, the Southern All-Star Wrestling Organization, had all the right in the world to suspend you. They don't want things going that direction. You tried to hang the man by his neck. Let you know what, Michael? Know. Michael, I gotta go see a man about a horse. I gotta go see a man about a horse here in a second. Cause I see some illegal stuff going on in that ring. I think Chase Stevens delivering close fist there. A little Chase over Stevens a, a minute ago. A power slam right there is what you see. Chase Stevens moving in. Fireman's Gary. I gotta, I gotta go see a man. Big drop. Uh oh. Paul Adams has left the broadcast table. There goes Paul Adams' team. There's one of the Maddox brothers. The Maddox brothers in there. They are attacking Chase Stevens. Paul Adams has the referee tied up. Hot Rod Biggs, get on in here. This is all oh, heck is broken loose in the ring. We better get something out of here. Chase referee Stevens. calling for the bell. Chase Stevens going to town on both of the Maddox brothers. Well, there's a haymaker that missed. And Chase Stevens has got, whoa, a chain. He's got the chain. The Maddox brothers made the mistake of dropping the chain. Chase Stevens has got it, and he's drinking heavy. What is it? Andy 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 oh no! Holy cow! What just happened? I don't think what? Chase you was Andy. Just happened here. Andy Douglas came to the aid of Chase Stevens. What the world is going on? You know what? It's no wonder Andy Douglas had to go. He had, he's been carrying Chase Stevens for five years in the Naturals tag team. Comes out here and tries to save that goofball partner of his. And there's gratitude for you. Chase Stevens turns around and punches him right in the face, Michael. There's gratitude for you. That is incredible. I don't think Chase Stevens realized at all, Hot Rod Biggs, what was going on. It was in the heat of battle. He had been attacked by three men. That was my initial instinct, but Paul Adams just mentioned, maybe Chase really is stabbing Andy in the back. Maybe well, Andy really is tired of carrying him. 
He knows Andy Douglas was missing. He shows up and Chase Steven punches him in the face. Like Paul Adams says, what kind of gratitude is that, Michael? Andy Douglas just walked past our broadcast position, turning his back on Chase Stevens. And I've got to say, and, and I'm sure we'll see a replay of what just happened. I don't think Chase Stevens realized that that was Andy Douglas that hit the ring because all of Paul Adams' goons had already hit the ring. I can see where Woo. you're coming from on that one. Maybe, just maybe Chase didn't. But the point is, he sucker punched Andy Douglas. We'll take a break. We'll sort things out. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. Freddie Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions, 931-840-5809. Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Old Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza featuring an all-you-can-eat buffet Sunday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The best wings around, the hottest sandwiches in town, and pizza that'll make you want to get down to Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza. Our number is 883-1844. ProGraphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let ProGraphics be your source for all of your printing needs. ProGraphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new ColorSpan 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call ProGraphics at 615-327-0386. Welcome back, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Michael St. John, along with Hot Rod Biggs. What a big program. Kid Cash, the challenge for the TV championship coming up. We have the tag team championship match coming up. It is a big card of activity coming your way right here on Southern All-Star Wrestling today. We thank you for tuning in. And boy, Southern All-Star Wrestling can be in your hometown. We'll be giving you details on how, when, where, and where we'll be happening in just a few minutes. Sean Schultz is expected to join us here at ringside and I'm sure he's going to have a few words to say. Sean Schultz, one of the uh, outstanding young talent and outstanding young stars coming up in the world of uh, professional wrestling and we're bringing Sean out here right now. Sean Schultz already to enter the ring for his match. Mr. Schultz, I know you had some words. Listen here, Michael St. Jimmy. Everybody knows you can't have a wrestling show without a Sean Schultz promo. And it's been proved time after time that there's nobody that can handle the heat seeker, Sean Schultz. I beat Caleb Conley, and I'll beat anybody in that locker room. I don't care if you go get the Brooklyn Brawler. I don't care if you go get that Dusty Rhodes. I'll knock about 20 pounds off of them. Hell, I don't even care if you get Hulk Hogan. I'll beat anybody and everybody. So, Freddie Morton, if you get over here, give Sean Schultz some real competition because I guarantee you there ain't none in that locker room. Well, Commissioner Freddie Morton has not backed down once, and I'm sure you've got some competition lined up for 
Sean Schultz. Mr. Schultz, let me guarantee you this. We're getting cards and letters, phone calls from all across the country today. There's wrestlers from all over the world wanting to get a part of Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. But I've got a phone call. I've got a man here today, and you're going to have a match with none other than Mr. Flash Flanagan. There's a name for you, Flash Flanagan, coming into Southern All-Star Wrestling. There's a competition for you. There's the competition. Here's Flashman now. You want to come out here and run your mouth? You want some competition? Well, the competition's right here. Whoa, Flash going right after him. That is a patented move. Flash Flanagan steps down from no one, Hot Rod Biggs. Sean Schultz in complete shock. He's the last person he expected to see right here today on today's broadcast. He didn't expect to see Flash. Flash Flanagan hitting the ring in a thunderbolt against, and, and you know, it's great to see Flash Flanagan and it's great to see the Flash Man make his appearance the way that he is so well known to do. Sporting Flash Mania right here for all the fans of Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. A big chop in the corner of Sean Schultz. Lights his chest up like a match, Michael. Flash Flanagan coming into Southern All-Star Wrestling. That, my friend, makes a statement of the kind of competition that's wanting to come into this organization. And the Flash Man going right after Sean Schultz. Schultz caught him with the big boot. Flash with the belly to belly and over goes Sean Schultz. And Flash Flanagan is really on fire here today. And as I say that, Schultz moves out of the way and Flanagan's shoulder goes into the steel pole. Sean Schultz. Probably more proud of himself than any man I know. He's got the advantage right now on Flash Flanagan. Flash Flanagan, big star, not only all over the country, Michael, but all over the world. And what a shock it is to see him in the ring right now with the heat sinker, Sean Schultz, in Southern All-Star Wrestling as he fires back and they're exchanging a series of closed fists. Well, one thing I will say thus far, Sean Schultz has not backed down from the competition of Flash Flanagan, and now he's taking it right to the man, and the veteran Flanagan is a belt a bit mustered or flustered, if you would, but now comes firing back on Sean Schultz in a way that only Flash Flanagan can do. Sean? And he is pounding away at the young man. Off the ropes, Flanagan, oh, grabs that arm. Went and wrenched that arm and may have took it right out of the socket. Beautiful move out of nowhere, but it wasn't enough to keep Flash Flanagan down. Flash Flanagan is now caught in that top wrist lock and Sean Schultz, the former Texas Heavyweight Championship and NWA Rocky Top Champion has got the move cinched in on Flanagan. And this is a way I think Sean Schultz wants to slow down the onslaught of the Flash Man. Absolutely, he's doing what he's got to do. He, grabbing a, he grabs a hold and he's going to work on that arm and elbow of Flash Flanagan. Flanagan caught with the arm, and that arm is now, that is the same uh, upper part of that uh, shoulder that went into that steel pole just moments ago, and Schultz took, in, took a quick advantage of that and continues to put the punishment on that arm of Flash Flanagan trying to disable the use of the left arm of Flanagan. Sean Schultz knows exactly what he's going to do. He's concentrating on one part of the body. If he damages his arm, that's just that much more of an advantage. If I was Sean Schultz, I think I would try and knock him out. Right now, Flanagan caught, and Schultz rolls him over. There's the leg drop on that shoulder. And Sean Schultz, so far, has really held his own in this match. From the way Flash Flanagan hit the ring with Schultz, I mean, he almost bowled me over in that situation. I thought we were, uh, I thought we were going to lose contact there for a minute. They got off, to, started things off in a hurry, no doubt about it. Sean Schultz working over that arm. He's got Flash Flanagan in trouble right now. Referee Anthony. Cervantes is on top of the situation. Sean Schultz doing nothing illegal at this point. He is just showing Flash Flanagan that he's not going to come over here and walk over Sean Schultz. And Flanagan tries, misses with that right hand. Schultz counters. There is the DDT. Flanagan down, and Schultz saying is down. Again, Schultz taking his time for the cover, and you don't pin a veteran wrestler taking your time. Absolutely not. Flash Flanagan has been around the block one too many times for that. 
You're not going to be flash flatting in that easy. One of the toughest competitors in the world today. And Sean Schultz, the fact that he's taking it to flash shows you what kind of competitor Sean Schultz is. Still to come, the tag team championship will be on the line with the Maddox brothers in action, managed by Paul Adams against Risky Business. And the TV title, what a surprise, Kit Cash coming after the goal here on Southern All-Star Wrestling against the champion, Chris Michaels. In the meantime, Flash Flanagan with that big, 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 big power slam. Actually, that body slam, I thought he was gonna potty, uh, power, power slam him, but he brought that body up and put it down instead. Big well, boot to the chest and chin area of Sean Schultz. Despite the adjective you put in front of it, that ring, when you get slammed down on it and every part of your body gets jarred and your breath disappears, what impact it was from that big slam by Flash Flanagan. It don't matter what you call it. It all hurts. But Sean Schultz still was able to kick out. Can he make Sunset that? Sunset flip, and that's it. Sean Schultz beaten by the Flash Man right here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. That's what happens when you bring a star like Flash Flanagan in to take on a young stud like Sean Schultz. He gets beat with that Sunset flip roll-up. Sean Schultz throwing a fit. He cannot believe he just lost this matchup after such a vicious onslaught. And now Flash smacks him for Insult good Insult to injury. What Sean kind of sportsmanship Schultz. is that, Michael St. And John? there you see the winner, Flash Flanagan, getting the win. Sean Schultz pitching a fit in the ring. Boy, this action gets hotter and hotter on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Tag Team Championship action right around the corner. Stay with us. Pro Graphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let Pro Graphics be your source for all of your printing needs. Pro Graphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new Color Span 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call Pro Graphics at 615-327-0386. Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers, Brakes, and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers, Brakes, and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. Sunny days are here again. Sunshine Heating and Cooling servicing Nashville and all of Middle Tennessee. Call owners Joe Anisi and Jerry Williams for all of your heating and cooling needs. They will perform fast professional service. Whether you need annual service, repair, or have a new unit installed, call the pros at Sunshine Heating and Cooling. Champion.
championship of Southern All-Star Wrestling. This is the tag team belts being held up by the referee. They are on the line as Risky Business, Nikki Vaughn and Ricky Santel in the ring to take on the Maddox brothers and Sean and his brother Shane. They are the title holders. Paul Adams conspicuously missing at ringside from the Maddox brothers. And I had a chance, you know, Paul was out here a little while ago doing some commentating and uh, when we went off camera, I said, well, you got your men in action. And he, you know what he told me? He said, you know, he says, I'm a very superstitious person. He says, I don't think I should be at ringside because they won the belts without me. That is a very odd position for a manager like Paul Adams to take. Paul Adams knows what he's got to do. If that's his call, you've got to respect that he's going to do what's best for his boys, what's best for his team. And if he thinks that means not being here for them to have a successful title defense, then more power to him. Shane Maddox has the hammerlock right now and uh, is maintaining it on uh, Ricky Santel. And no, I'm actually, sorry, that's, no, that's Nikki. I, I'm Nikki sorry. I, I saw the back of his head, and I'll tell you, from the back, you can't tell the difference of him. But uh, uh, Nikki Vaughn in the ring to start for his team, Risky Business. These are two outstanding young tag teams. I know we've been seeing a lot of uh, information come across on these two guys, or these two teams, rather. And both of these teams, I think, can uh, hold their own with whoever. Risky business or no slouches, kind of new as a tag team compared to the Maddox brothers. Blood is obviously thicker than water, and the Maddox brothers have the advantage. They've also got the advantage of having a game plan set before them by Paul Adams. And I just don't know what kind of showing we're going to have out of Nicky Vaughn and Ricky Santel. When right you're here up, today. Well, when you're up into competition, when you've got that gold belt, you know you are at the top of that ladder that we so often talk about here, and everybody's taking their shots. And, of course, this is a big shot for Rick Steve Business, but I will say this about the Maddox brothers, whatever their training has been. And there is a great move by Ricky Vaughn on uh, Shane Maddox, and Maddox goes down, and there's a cover, two, count of two is all he got. I said it uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know the, the, the whole story behind the Maddox brothers, but I will say that I have been very impressed by what they have accomplished thus far in Southern All-Star Wrestling. I'm with you on that one. I don't know a whole lot of Maddox, about the Maddox brothers before they showed up here in Southern All-Star Wrestling, but the fact that Paul Adams sought them out, signed these boys under contract, tells me everything I need to know. And add to that, that they are now currently the Southern All-Star Wrestling Tag Team Champions. That speaks volumes about this team, the Maddox brothers. It's hard to win these titles, Michael, but it's even harder to keep them. And risky business, their plans are to leave here today with the belt. And that is spoken, of course, by a former Southern heavyweight champion in uh, Hot Rod Biggs. And I know uh, that is a very profound statement, but a very true one indeed. Right now, Rick Santel with the advantage. The Maddox brothers, uh, they do seem to have a knack. And I guess you look back in the history of professional wrestling, back to Don and Luke Fields and Don and Al Green and some of the great brother combinations that have the Fargo brothers. They, they seem to have a sixth sense, if you would, of when to come in and, and get involved in a match when their brother is either in trouble or or when things are maybe not going their way, but they also know when to hold it off and they save it for the right opportune time. And we saw that when the Maddox brothers won the title and thus far today, even though the Maddox uh, brothers have uh, been on the short end of the stick in the early going against Risky Business, we haven't seen the, uh, the other brother from the outside get in the ring yet. If you're gonna pair, compare professional wrestling to anything, this ain't checkers, this is chess. The Maddox brothers know what they got to do. If they've got to wait their opponent out, if they've got to see the other brother in peril, they're going to come in at the right time. They've got the tag team continuity to know when to strike, when to hold back, and that is what makes them a successful tag team. Add to that the game plan of Paul Adams, and that is why they're currently our tag team champions. Maddox brothers caught. There is going downstairs. Santel had already made the tag to Nikki Vaughn. Nikki with a nice roll. Up and we almost had new tag champions right then and there. Beautiful move by Risky Business, displaying phenomenal wrestling skills. It's Nicky Vaughn. It looks like he's going to the top rope now, Michael. And he is going upstairs. And as he does, notice the other Maddox brother in position to interrupt that situation. He's got him by the leg, but he was able to hold on. Now Rick Santel chasing him away. And in the meantime, that gave time 
for the Maddox brothers to work some of their skullduggery in the ring. And down goes Nick Vaughn. You know, you got to take a look at what just happened there, Michael. The Maddox brothers used Ricky Santel to distract the referee. They lured him over to the corner, so the referee, Ricky Bell, had to put him back. And when that happened, the other Maddox brother was able to cut Nicky Vaughn off, and now Nicky Vaughn is paying the price. And again, these Maddox brothers, hard to tell, but I'm going to call. This is Sean, I believe, in the ring now. And the tag is made, and he's going to actually make it a second time. The referee may not have seen it the first time over. And now the Maddox brothers climbing the ropes, coming down. Oh, big leg drop. Big leg drop on Nicky Vaughn, and that will take its toll. Absolutely. I can't imagine the pain that's going through the leg and the knee of Nicky Vaughn right now, but I can tell you this. Absolutely relentless. That hurt from here. Two. Count of two was all they were able to do. Oh, my goodness, that hurt. That still smarts. I don't know if that was the sound of his legs or if that was the sound of all the little girls' hearts breaking on that one, Michael. But the Maddox brothers are doing what they got to do, and they are really taking it to Nikki Vaughn right now. And they're doing what they do best, and that is double-teaming the weaker of the men. And I say weaker only because he has been beat down by the Maddox brothers with these uh, continuous double teams. They're taking the pressure to the knee, to the inner thigh. They're trying to do damage. You cannot drive of a car with a flat tire and you can't stand up oh. with a bad wheel and that is exactly what the Maddox brothers are doing they're concentrating on that leg and they are just torturing this kid right now Ricky Santel wanting to make a tag to his partner as he's feeling the pain in the corner and in the meantime the Maddox brothers tag out and they continue to do damage on that left leg they have again as you say, created a bad wheel. Look at this, small package. One, two, do we have a winner? No. Maddox escapes. He's back, and whoa, what a clothesline. Big clothesline prevents the tag. Nicky Vaughn tried desperately to get to his partner, Ricky Santel, but that wasn't enough as he was just cut off and twirled around by that vicious, vicious clothesline. Near fall again for the Maddox brothers, but Nicky Vaughn luckily got out of it. Nice move, whoa! What a combination! And Vaughn wants to make the tag. Look at the resilience on this kid. I don't know what else to say about him, but the kid's got heart. He's taking a tremendous beating, and he's not giving up. He's still able. The Maddox brothers make the tag first. Is he gonna make Tags it? Tags made to now we've got fresh men in the ring, and now the great equalizer, the right hand by Rick Santel. There's another one. There's the other Maddox brother being tossed to the floor. The champions could be in trouble here. Santel with that splash, too, and oh, the referee caught from outside. Referee, referee caught, from pulled. We had, a, we had new champions right there. Right there, we had new champions, Hot Rod. Ricky Bell was pulled out of the way. Ricky Santel, not sure what's going on. And I tell you what, they wanted the belt. It looks like they just might get it. Santel squaring up with the Maddox brother. He just gave him the belt. What is going on? The Maddox brother is just laid down. They're going for the that belt. is it. Referee Ricky Bell out of position. The referee has stopped the match. He's got to call him like he sees him, Michael. Referee Ricky Bell is only doing his job. As far as he knows, Ricky Santel hit one of the Maddox brothers with the belt. He didn't see it. He can't call it. He must call it like he sees That's it. That's not what happened. Ricky, Ricky Santel was pitched the belt. He caught it, and as a result, D gets disqualified. So the Maddox brothers with skullduggery keep the belts. We'll be back. More wrestling action coming your way on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. If you love the look of historic homes but prefer the energy efficiency and trouble-free living of new home construction, you'll be right at home in a victory-built home. Constructed with insulated panels, this helps keep the energy bills low. Also, will help withstand high winds and is virtually soundproof from the outside noises. 
please view our online videos of our model home and green friendly building process at www.victorybuilthomes.com. ProGraphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let ProGraphics be your source for all of your printing needs. ProGraphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new ColorSpan 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call ProGraphics at 615-327-0386. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. If your car is not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. Ready to get underway. Main event time, and boy, has Commissioner Freddie Morton put together a, a match for Chris Michaels. Chris Michaels, belly aching, making a big deal over the fact that there's no competition. He's the TV champion. Commissioner couldn't find anybody, and who comes to town but none other than Kid Cash, straight from the WWE. He, of course, was a superstar in the X Division and NWA TNA prior to that. And he is back and ready to do battle with Chris Michaels. These two are no strangers to each other from NWA TNA. No strangers to each other in any way, shape, or form. Kid Cash also was at ECW when ECW first took off. Key player in that organization, been a key player in many organizations, and now he's here trying to lay stake to the claim of Southern All-Star Television Champion. And it's very obvious that the TV title has become a very, very impressive belt to not only the folks here in the uh, area that watch Southern All-Star Wrestling, but literally worldwide. If you read about what's going on in professional wrestling on the internet, you read about Chris Michaels becoming the TV champion here in Southern All-Star Wrestling, and you know sooner or later word's gonna get around to men like Kid Cash who look at a Chris Michaels and say, hey, I can take this belt. We're gonna see. Evidently, he thinks he can take the title or else he wouldn't be here, Michael. But Chris Michaels fought hard for that belt. He went through a lot to get it. This man's been on the grind in the professional wrestling business for many, many years. And now he is the Southern All-Star Wrestling Television Champion. And Chris Michaels is not going to let Kid Cash come in here and just take it away from him. Kid Cash ready to do damage right there. And this is a really pronounced champion in Kid Cash. But I'll tell you, take nothing away from Chris Michaels. Not He's not backing away from anything. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to say something here, Hot Rod Biggs, and it, I don't know if I've ever made this uh, 
comment out in, in public or on, on television about Bill Cash. I, I've always been very impressed with this man. I've followed his career. But he has the same build and the same look in the ring as the old Polish power Ivan Putski. Look at that. Nice uh, small package and a beautiful roll-up. in a, 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 And he's now going to do it one more time and with the hook. And he, he almost had him twice right then, right there. And again, he's got that low center of gravity. He's very quick in the ring. And he's very powerful, very compact, very powerful. Kid Cash built like a fire plug. Chris Michaels is out on the floor trying to get his game plan together. I do not think he was expecting to face an opponent the caliber of Kid Cash. Kid Cash has been a superstar, as you said, Michael, all over the world. I'm just interested to see how this is going to turn out. Well, there right now, he's going to bring Chris Michaels right back into the ring, and the champion's flat on his back again. Brought Compliments of Kid Cash. Way. And Cash now, beautiful arm drag, takedown, and takes the position over the top, putting the pressure on the upper part of that shoulder. You know, and I don't know, sometimes you don't know where Chris Michaels is coming from. Great competitor in the ring, but I'll tell you, sometimes I think the mouth gets in the way, and uh, maybe he you know, could have bitten off to a lot more than he thought he was going to have to chew here today. And Commissioner Freddie Morton and the folks with Southern all-Star Wrestling, the Board of Governors, they made a pledge. I saw the contract, you got the same contract, that they're going to bring in the best available talent. And to their credit, Southern All-Star Wrestling is indeed doing just that. As you can see in the ring right now with Kid Cash coming in to take on the TV champion, Chris Michaels, today on television. Only the mayor, only the major players involved with Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Everybody's here. Everybody wants a piece of the action. Chris Michaels. You got to be careful what you wish for. He asked for competition. Freddie Morgan got him some competition in here. Nobody can take anything away from Kid Cash, but I don't think that Chris Michaels was expecting it. And who knows, we very well could have a brand new television champion right here today. Well, Chris Michaels has been content to slow down the pace of this match because as you well know, and having faced these men at one point in your career, both of these men like to go at 110 miles an hour. And uh, Chris Michaels obviously does not think that he can out quick Kid Cash, so he's going to try to just beat him as close to the mat as he possibly can. Like you said, I've been in the ring with both of these guys, and they left me sucking wind each and every time. Chris Michaels, one of the toughest competitors and has been for a very, very long time. Been wrestling a lot more years than Kid Cash, but on the other hand, Kid Cash has got a lot of experience under his belt, and what a privilege it is to have these two men right here battling for the television title. Well, Chris Michaels right now is taking over on Kid Cash, and he's just stomping him in the corner. And Michaels using the boots to his advantage, not giving Kid Cash a chance to come off that mat. And, of course, uh, when Cash is down close to the mat, he is not as effective as he is when he's up on those ropes and moving in the air. And I think Chris Michaels is very much aware of that. They started off going hold for hold, trying to out-wrestle each other. Chris Michaels is now cutting him off, and he's using the fist. He's stepping on his throat. He's kicking him. He's doing whatever he's got to do. He realizes that that title could be in jeopardy unless he keeps Kid Cash down on his back. Like you said, he's not as effective when he's down. The kid's built like a fire plug, and Chris Michaels wants to be sure that it stays sealed off, and he's going to put his own fire out. And Chris Michaels using his fist to his advantage to keep the advantage over Kid Cash. And right now, the TV champion has things going his way, and if he can keep Cash down and just wear him out slowly, then uh, Chris Michaels may indeed keep that belt. But I'll tell you, if 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 Kid Cash gets his second win, then it's Katie bar the door. We could have any and everything happen here. Maddox Brothers retain their tag team championship early, and I know more tag teams are lining up, including, I'm sure, the situation, uh, if it gets resolved with Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas, I'm sure they want a shot at that belt. And look at now, Kid Cash back on his feet and indeed has that second win. Here's the opportunity for Kid to take the belt. Going right after Chris Michaels. Looks like he's going to... He, he's got a well, chicken wing, look out, look out, these are the Maddox, Maddox brothers. brothers. Speaking of the Maddox brothers, they're coming to the ring and they are confronting Kid Cash. Kid Cash, Cash now turns it in. Now, roll up by Michaels, he's got him. And Chris Michaels is going to hold on to his belt. Thanks for interference and help from the Maddox brothers. Holy cow, we 
you're going to have to put a daggum lock on this swinging gate on the dressing room door and keep these Maddox brothers behind it. Kid Cash definitely upset at what just happened, but Chris Michaels leaves out of here with the television title just as he planned to do. And Kid Cash is perplexed in the ring, as are we at ringside. Thanks to the Maddox brothers' diversionary tactics, the win goes to the TV champion, Chris Michaels, a very disappointed Kid Cash, and indeed he should be because he just got robbed. The referee's got to call when he sees. The referee didn't see it. He was doing his job when he stopped the Maddox brothers from entering the ring. But the point is, Chris Michaels is still your Southern All-Star television champion. Fans, what a card. We appreciate you being with us. Join us next week for more Southern All-Star Wrestling for Hot Rod Biggs, Michael St. John. So long, everyone.